back in the high school heroes. Had a boom Mark Packer out of here. Kind of take over my home segment up here with Alcoa. Got the McClurk twins down here. You guys have been on the show before. I really don't feel like I need to introduce you, but Matthew and Mitchell McClurk down there. Dustin Clavo, uh, Mr. Football semifinals up here on the set. Let's start down here with you guys. Uh, obviously playing CPA in the state championship. A team you've seen the last two years. What's different about them? Uh, I'll say from my perspective, I'm, you know, I'm looking at them from a linebacker standpoint. Uh, you know, they're, they're pretty explosive on offense. They've been that way, but uh, I think they're a little faster than they have been. Maybe uh, the, the quarterback's pretty athletic. He's also a Mr. Football finalist. And uh, we're going to have to contain him, make sure that they, you know, they're, they're pretty balanced on offense, but you know, stop the run first and make them throw it. And basically see how we can, you know, stop them and continue that throughout the game. And Matthew, you know, Alco always has its own motivation is win the state championship every single year. Does the loss to CPA, though, provide more? Does that talk about much? I mean, always it's in the back of everybody's mind. I don't think it's really talked about as, you, as, much, as much as you think it would be, but it's, it's definitely there. You know, we have to come back play as hard as we can and uh, just get the win. Justin, you guys were just shut out in that game last year. Uh, number one, how frustrating was that? You know, losing any time at all a purpose player, especially on offense, and, and two, how do you fix that for this time around? Um, we got a little something going this year, so yeah, don't give away the game. Yeah, yeah, it was um, very frustrating, actually, you know. Because we, we just couldn't get offense really rolling, and that just, that's what killed us, really. Yeah, a couple years ago, I mean, the game was super frigid. I mean, remember some of the guys in the post game shaking, couldn't stop shaking. Uh, last year, pretty cold. This year, though, I think we 40 or 50. Can that be a difference for you guys in this game? Um, yeah, I, I really think it will be. No doubt. Yeah. Mitchell, as far as what's happened in, in the playoffs for, for Alcoa, um, obviously it's gone as everybody expected. You guys advancing to the state championship game. But what do you like what Alcoa is doing on offense right now? Uh, for us right now, our offensive game has really opened up. We uh, Last year we were a little bit more predictable. We ran the ball, you know, 40 times a game for Jock West Tyson. And, you know, this year we're distributing. Uh, you, get, you see a lot of guys getting a lot of touches. Obviously, uh, Dustin down here was, uh, you know, he get the ball a lot more. Our uh, backs, Kareem Sharif and uh, Taylor McNair doing a great job running. Then you have uh, Malik Salter, who's been another, you know, big time runner for us. And uh, just getting the ball distributed has made us a lot harder to stop. And, and when we see all the other teams, you know, trying to prepare for us, I think that that's made them, you know, really look at us, study us a little harder, and it's made it a little easier to run for us. You know, when teams get to the state championship, they get to go down to the Middle Tennessee area, do a media day before the Mr. Football Awards, and it's a chance for a lot of teams to kind of size up each other. You see the, your opposition yeah. at the table over there. Matthew, you're a Mr. Football finalist uh, down there this year. Did it feel like a boxing match when you see the CPA players over there at another table doing their interviews? I mean, yeah, we, we definitely saw the other CPA players. I mean, we kind of size each other up a little bit and see how that goes. But, uh, uh, we still got to play our game. Didn't really look at that as much. Just got to play our game. We'll stick to our keys and uh, play hard. What was that moment like for you? I, I know you didn't win Mr. Football. Your teammate Jonathan Decker won Mr. Football. But the fact that Alcoa has a sweep up there. Yeah. I mean, it, it was obviously a great thing. I mean, I didn't win it, but uh, Jonathan Decker did. And I'm super happy for him, excited for him. And uh, I was excited for Alcoa. At least one of us got it. And that was all we, what we had to get. So. Uh, just super excited for him and glad for the team. Did you heckle your brother up on stage at all or anything like yeah, that? I, I tried not to so it was over, but uh, I got to see uh, Jonathan and you know, he was obviously excited about it. And uh, yeah, I just want to be happy for both of them. They're both great players and uh, watching them both grow up while I played with them my whole life, uh, I knew one of them would get it, obviously. And uh, yeah, I was just excited for both of them. Yeah. How do you handle your, uh, you know, a different lot room, you know, different, different playing surfaces? How do you, how do you just kind of stay focused? Um, just focus and go and play our games. I mean, we're always in our game. We always have our game face on, so we're just ready to win. Yeah. Uh, this Mitchell, the, the hunger that Alcoa has to get that ring back. I know we talked a little bit about it last week. When Alcoa doesn't win one, it seems like it's, it's this drought. You know, we're so accustomed to you guys winning it year after year. What's it feel like from a player perspective? You know, we, 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 we made a big thing, you know, during the offseason. We, we worked harder in the uh, workouts. I think, I think we had more of a focus throughout the season. And uh, we actually have a silver ball sitting in the middle of the locker room right now, so that's just kind of been a draw for the guys. And, uh, you know, we get to come in and look at it every day, and, you know, it just gives you motivation to keep going and fighting. Well, guys, appreciate you guys coming out on set. Uh, good to see you. Good luck there. And uh, appreciate it. Cook Bill on, on Friday and bring that gold ball back to East Tennessee. When we come back, we'll have the pick segment. And I'm
still on last. they'll stay tuned for that.